quite often I'm asked, why should we be involved in competitions when in the past we've entered and we've never got anywhere? Um, and, you know, with such a small team and with it only happening every other year, it's, the reality is that there are, there are only ever going to be a few that make it into Team UK and actually make it to the um, international competition. But maybe we need to focus on, um, you know, competition strategy and the strategy of teaching and learning within each of the individual institutions. And, you know, unless you're involved in competition activity, you're never really going to know and understand what the standard is. So you're never really going to be able to develop your students or competitors to the right level. I think once you've actually got a competition strategy in place in a college, then you can actually focus on what is the standard, you know, what is the important core skill of every vocational element so that you can start to develop your students over and above the national standard and think about competence. To get involved with the master classes will help colleges start to really understand that international standard um, and to really focus then on each individual skill and develop each of their competitors. And quite often we have colleges that are involved in one skill, but it's really thinking broader than just that individual skill and thinking, well, what about mechatronics? What about electronics? What about wall and floor tiling? And really thinking of a holistic strategy for the whole of the college so that each and every area is touched by competition activity. And I think once the students are actually involved in competition, then they aspire to be the best that they can possibly be. And then you have a knock-on effect on each of the curriculum areas. The fact that my tutor saw something in me, put me forward to the competition and now I'm here is, is fantastic and I owe a lot to her because she did teach me a lot but I've learnt so much more since then. In my college, they were the ones that put me forward, got me into competitions. If, without them I wouldn't be anywhere to be honest but I think they've learnt so much from it as well. It spurs other students on to actually want to learn and want to progress mm. as well when they see what you're doing. Mm. Um, and they want to know how to get into it and, and how to be the best they can do. Obviously, with any, any kind of new activity, it is going to involve a little bit more work to begin with. But I think if tutors focus on, um, you know, getting a simple brief together for a competition and really looking at what is important in that skill and developing a marking scheme, then that is only going to help in terms of the core curriculum that they're developing. So it will also help with you know, the national standard that they're teaching to and will maybe help them save a little bit more time in terms of their core curriculum. One of the key elements was, was the cotton bud after the cleanse oh, going so round cool. and making sure that all the little facial cleanser, the exfoliator was there, mm. something that we've never done before that we can actually put into place straight away, yeah. wasn't it? Mm. Mm. Those checkpoints yes. in facial yeah, the checkpoints routine. Yeah, checkpoints were really good, good. good. and yeah. really useful. Yeah. Mm. It's going back to basics, isn't it? Yeah. It's very much getting the learner to um, understand what they're doing, how far they've come and how far they have to go and how they're going to get there. So little questions, um, what do you need to do to get to the next level? Um, how did you get to the level that you're at now? And how can you use that to move forward? When I first started, I was really quiet and I didn't really like believe in myself sort of thing. But the more you, you have your training and you find out what you're good at, what you're bad at, and you work on it, and then you go back to your salon, you really realise sort of how much you've come along, how much better you've got, how much com more confident you've got. It's got to enhance the work that they do outside yeah. that session, hasn't it, in the classroom, yeah. normal classroom mm -hmm. situation. Mm -hmm. You're aiming for that perfection, mm -hmm. because not everybody can be that young person to represent the UK, but they can all be the best that they can in their profession. We don't do a lot of competition, competition work, um, and to see this sort of level will allow us now to develop that. Mm. It's an area I think it's well worth mm. We're seeing that comp competitive level within the mm. students as well and realising it's not, not just um, at college but actually into the industry as well. Mm. It's going, it is a competitive world and mm. to be that pinnacle and have another line on the CV or whatever would be well worth it. Mm. Well, it's helped me promote my whole business, everything. I've opened it out through World Skills, really, but now to promote it. And it's kept my level of treatment high in mm. my salon. Mm. It's kept me well skilled as mm. well. So it's, 
helped me an awful lot. Yeah, you were you're a standard above the rest, so people will go to you for that world-class standard. And so I'm a senior therapist at my salon, so I've got two apprentices under me, and they want to get into UK skills now, just from like the stuff I've done and the stuff I've taught them, which is really, really good. And ultimately, the clients are benefiting as well, and so are the employers. And the yes. profession generally. And it's, it's upskilling the profession, definitely. Yeah.